Just a little locational video at Deloraine near the Odd Fellows Hall and the Information Centre. Near Meander and woodlands on the Mole Creek Road are also portrayed in this panel. The hedge surrounding woodlands and the leaves on a eucalypt on the far right are the work of many hands and many sewing machines. The cattle in the Grand Parade and the corner of grasses display a clever use of hand sewing and piping. The flora and fauna on the lower right of the panel and the sideshows are excellent examples of applique, hand and machine embroidery that have been heavily padded using scoured wool. Lace and ribbon are cleverly used to make a floral display in front of the homesteads. And drawn threadwork is a good way to illustrate a fence or two. Some figures wear garments knitted on size 15 needles. A hand-woven piece of fabric in silk and wool is used to great effect for the stubble paddock. Note the various methods of haymaking. The small rural church appliqued in a tweed fabric is the venue for a wedding the bridal party being photographed by a minute cameraman. All the figures are hand embroidered, as is the confetti. All cottage nestled in the hillsides. A traditional annual event, which has been practiced for over 100 years by the mountain cattlemen, is the driving of beef cattle to summer graze in the valleys among the nearby mountains. Early in the winter, before the onset of snow, they are mustered and driven home. The deciduous beach, in magnificent colour, is crafted by a machine embroidery overlaid with tulle and partly conceals a pair of hand-embroidered Tasmanian devils. The mellow colours of autumn are evident in this panel as the needleworkers and artists endeavour to line paddocks with golden poplars, weeping willows and hawthorn hedges. It would be impossible to count the French knots and bullion stitches used in the many hawthorn trees. Those varieties of forest ferns. Waterfalls and limestone caves dotted with glowworms provide a mystique for the area and are the habitat of timid but beautiful animals and birds, many of which are depicted in exciting three-dimensional effects. Note particularly the Tasmanian tigers, retail possum, eastern spotted quoll, platypus, the green and gold frog, and birds, scarlet robin, yellow-tailed black cockatoos, butcher birds, and yellow wattle bird. The embroiderer's skills are very evident in the treatment of ferns and trees, where tulle with some 4,000 metres of silk was used. Forged sterling silver slivers enhance the waterfall and metallic thread is used to great effect in the spider's web and in the cascade as it enters the tannin-tinted forest pool. The moss-covered rocks and the lichen-encrusted logs surrounding this pool are examples of intricate machine embroidery outlining the hand-painted markings of tree trunks and rock formations. Thank you for coming. We hope you're enjoying your visit. Um, well, you, it will probably take you out the main highway, but if you come oh. inside, I'll show you. If you can't miss it. Oh, thank you. I can't
everybody's away elsewhere doing Australia Day stuff. So we've got it to ourselves. There's the old copper. There's a disc. Yeah, that's yeah. our... They've done a fabulous oh, job. Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very modern lathe. And a retro shop, saw all the Bowsers, had a coffee, now we're on the, the Elk Esk River in Deloraine, the caravan parks are all full. Oh, we went through Railton, saw all the topiary, photographed all the topiary, we're in Sheffield now.
That's the shop slaters that couldn't be persuaded to join GJ Coles. Artworks everywhere. and we found a caravan park and down the river there there's 150 yellow rubber duckies having a race on the duck river this is the uh, duck river where they had rubber duckies races down at the Smithton that's Smithton up there in the distance where last night the sky lit up with fireworks and explosions in spite of the fire ban. But it's a bit cooler up here and it's going to be 20 to 40 knot winds or 40 kilometer winds in tourist language. People have gone bush for a day, day's drive. we came to The, the windy nut looks like they might have stopped the share lift. We just had a 10 minute chat with Terry there coming over to the nut in Tasmania in April. So, we'll have a chat, tell them all about places to stay in caravan parks. It's very windy up there. 
that's the Black River, I think, where the um, we're warned about the population there. We won't visit some of that. But the river looks nice. Now there's the observatory there. and uh, took their land by force and claimed it as their own, imposed their own rules and laws. Uh, the state's here, he's got to try a man trap. He, he, he instructed the Fanny to go and, and to go and attack them at Woolnorth. Yes, yes, but he was the person who I see as having got the whole of the circular head area started. I guess in those days, it didn't count too much what you did to your fellow human being, whereas today it counts a lot and matters last. It's an incredible challenge, and um, I often envy somebody who has been put in a position like that. And I guess they just show their authority of way and got away with it. I guess it wasn't all that bad, but anyway, it was just human way. And Elizabeth must have made that final and painful visit to their daughter, Juliana's grave knowing they would never return. Another strategy, he had for a week concealed an armed man inside one of the shepherd's huts uh, with directions to fire upon the Aboriginal intruders. Uh, Edward Kerr also used to have his own flagellator oh, black book. To lead such a, a large expedition uh, or settlement and to do it so successfully, he uh, a very wise man. And it was fun to write it all down. That legal poison dead and his partners to get rid of the natives. His philosophy was his colonial heritage. A pretty sad and sorry history for our people. A very attractive and uh, important part of uh, the state's cultural heritage. I feel like this was hard times when they uh, some historical perspective of I just love the place. It's quiet. Yeah, the place was the place. Where
I'll check, check this report on Trove. Looks like old, old glass. Not many people liked him. And the butler's pantry and then the china cupboard. flooded in 1843 and not suitable as a residence down in the cellar. considerable depth nice place for Tom to restore a few renovations sound effects in here it sounds like the outdoors now there's a lonely place just heard a ghost sobbing away in here girl 
was an accident down near the shore and she died as a plaque out the front of the memorial. memorial. Well, the sun comes and goes, so we'll head off now back to our camp for a cup of tea. And a view from the dining room. driven through crummy pine plantations just like around Canberra 5k of dirt road this lovely little rainforest here into this boring park spot where we sprung a leak in our grey water tank goes on and on and on past the turning circle. Oh, I should have brought Smokey. We could do a few forestry trials. <laughs> <laughs> 